We're going to do a defocus crashing drill. Um, when we focus on our zone play, we really focus on eliminating fouls inside the eight meter. So this drill is going to be to, um, to get our defenders comfortable with crashing without contact, extending their arms before contact's made, um, uh, eliminating fouls, so eliminating a lot of checking um, to create an opportunity to get the ball back out of the eight meter. So the drill will initiate with a pass into the eight meter where there'll be a attacker marked with a defender. That on ball defender will be forcing to her crashing defender who's going to be coming from the crease. That player's job is to get in position, create a V similar to what we would do in a double team, uh, sit low, arms extended so that when that attacker turns into the second defender, they're creating a double that is initiated by the attacker and not the defender, eliminating foul opportunities. Okay, so right away we're starting with an attacker, that's Julie here, and Dorian, who's going to be uh, already forcing into our crashing defender who's at the crease, okay? Assuming they're that crease defender, generally the person that's crashing in our zone. Um, the ball is going to be initiated with Shelly. As the pass is in the air, Haley's coming up to crash. As Haley comes up, her knees are bent, she's sitting low, arms extended, so that when Julie rolls into her, okay, that double is initiated by Julie, eliminating any contact fouls. As they sit in this double, we eliminate checking, because this is, tends to be where we get kind of the back check and we create an, a second foul opportunity. So in this situation, we want to play good, low defense, only going for a check if it's very obvious, but we generally start without checking. Once Julie tries a couple times to go around, the goal is to get her to come out of the eight, funnel her out, and now we're able to settle our defense down again. Yeah, well, yeah, right here. Good, Haley, good. Yep. Well done. Good.